Wind U6. Good morning, Northwest. Well, new this morning, your best friend can win you some prizes and maybe they'll become better <laughs> behaved. It's all thanks to our latest contest. That's right. We know that most dogs are well behaved, but we are interested in those of you whose dogs are naughty. It's called Portland's Naughtiest Dog, our newest contest. Coin News 6 reporter Casey Montoya is live in a park in Tualatin. You only have two days left to get your entry in. I have Al Holzer from Barkbusters Home Dog Training. You are offering up free dog training for whoever the winner of this Naughty Dog Contest is. And I'm going to surprise you this morning. I have some entries. You haven't seen them yet. And we're going to talk about those. Now, tell us about the two days left. Uh, what kind of behaviors do you want to see? Well, we're looking for the typical ones. The dog barks when the front doorbell rings, the dog jumps up, the dog maybe pulls the owners down the street on the leash, the dog maybe be destructive and destroy parts of the house. Destructive, let's, let's go with that one right now. <laughs> let's take a look at some of these entries, if we can go ahead and get that video up. So we can start off with Jennifer Black's two dogs, Dolce and Gabbana. Now they look like they're totally normal and cute dogs, but... You take another look and you see what they can do when they're left alone. This is obviously destructive and bad dog behavior. Now this is Ziggy. Ziggy thinks he's a dog, his owner wrote in, that he is the naughtiest dog in Portland, but we do just want to remind you, we are looking for the canine species. All right, on to the next one. This is Pryor. He is also a bad dog. Look at him destroying a couch that he used to sleep on. That's destructive. That's a bad dog behavior. Now this is Curly. Curly will not leave his owner's side. As you can see, they are always together. And on to Oscar. Well, Oscar, Oscar chews everything. Oscar has to be the center of attention. And we hear that Oscar just has a lot of problems. And finally, currently reigning as Portland's naughtiest dog, that is Bella Montoya. She is going to be handing over the reins to the new winner. Now let's talk about, we saw two of those entries, destructive behavior. Why, why are these dogs doing this? Well, primarily when dogs have separation anxiety, meaning they separate from their owners and they get very anxious, that's usually when destructive behavior takes place. And it's primarily a function of three things, or a combination or one of the three. Uh, lack of leadership on the part of the owners, so the dog thinks he or she is running the show, and when the owners leave, the dog legitimately gets anxious because... Uh, it's like one of their kids ran out into the street. Uh, now, I don't want you to give away the other two, though. I want people to watch. So next half hour, we have more entries, more destructive behavior. And if you're sitting at home and you think, oh, my gosh, my dog does way worse things than this, well, enter. You only have two days left to enter. And not only will you win the free training from Barkbusters, but you're also in a prize package worth $500 of all kinds of fun wow. stuff for you and your dog. Log on to coin.com for all of the details. Jenny and Art. Casey, I don't know. Those, those two dogs look pretty bad. The yeah. couch? Yeah, the couch, the, uh, ripping up everything around the house and leaving it sitting there. That's pretty bad. A lot of people's <laughs> dogs do it, though, so send those pictures in. Mm -hmm. They must love them if they're still their dogs. I guess so. Yes. <laughs> they are their best friend. All right, thanks, Casey. We look forward to checking in with you in the next half hour. This morning, time is running out to enter our latest <laughs> contest, and the star is your own best friend. Yep, no doubt about it. We know that most dogs are well-behaved, but we are interested in those of you whose dogs are naughty. It's called Portland's Naughtiest Dog. Coin News 6 reporter Casey Montoya is live in Tualatin with the details. Casey, we've been seeing a lot of these, uh, <laughs> these naughty dogs, and <laughs> you have more to show us this time around? We do. We've gotten so many entries so far for the naughtiest dog, but we are still looking for more two days left for you to enter. And here is what is up for grabs. $500 gift basket for you and your dog from Wilco and more than $500 worth of dog obedience training and owner obedience training too from Barkbusters. And I have Al Holzer from Barkbusters Home Dog Training with me this morning. Now you say pretty much any dog is trainable. We can deal with any dog, any age, any issue, and we really are training the owners to be the leaders of the pack. Obviously, we work with the dogs, but we want the owners to really understand where they need to fit into the pack structure. Curly was the one who was always by his owner's side, rescue dog, and you said this is a pretty common mistake that people make when they rescue dog, and why is that? Well, we think it's great that people rescue dogs, but rescue dogs may have been abused, they've certainly been abandoned, they may have been moved around a lot, and owners will tend to feel sorry for them. That's a natural instinct on the part of owners, and unfortunately, if they feel sorry and do a lot of things like that, they, the dog will see the owner as a weak leader, and that can feed bad behavior. 
And so we teach the owners to be the leaders of the pack in a humane way, and then the dog will tend to improve. And that is why Curly just will not leave his owner's side. A little separation anxiety maybe, but you know, if they let Curly stay with them all the time, he's going to continue to stay with them all the time. All right, you have two days left, and if you've seen some of these entries and you think that you can do better than that, then send us an email. Send us your video, send us your pictures and your stories. We want to hear about your naughty dog because we want to give you a $500 gift basket from Wilco and more than $500 worth of dog obedience training from BarkBusters. Log on to our website, coin.com. You will find all of the details and you'll even see some of these entries that we have already received. Art and Jenny? Casey, you're right. I do have a thing for Oscar the pug, but I'm not <laughs> voting, so, and that's because I have a pug. But he just looks so cute. Yeah, and he does some of the same things. Yes. <laughs> Jenny, we'll deal with your dogs on another day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Casey. If you're sitting at a home and what you're about to see you think you can top, we want to see it. You have to go online to coin.com and enter the contest to tell us about your naughtiest dog. I have Al Holzer from Barkbusters here with me. Now, Al, you guys are giving away free dog obedience, which is worth well over $500. You say no dog is untrainable. And no owner, you know. Oh. Maybe an owner is untrainable, huh? Yeah, so we really, really want to work with the owners. The dogs usually are actually the easiest part of the equation, and the owners are the ones that need training. All right, let's take a look at some of the entries we've received so far. If you didn't get that, that was a comment at me. This is Tucker. Tucker looks nice and cute, but he chews, he digs, and he's aggressive, and they had to put up a pig fence around their yard to keep him from digging. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about Tucker in just a second. This is Elvis. Elvis looks all nice and calm and sweet, but Elvis barks. He pulls on the leash. He barks at them while they're eating so that they'll give up the food. This is Samson. Now, Samson is very destructive. He could be deceiving how he looks, but look at that mess behind him. You leave him home alone, and he will destroy whatever comes in his path. Now, Maxwell did this. Maxwell's not showing his face this morning, but look at what he did when he got closed into a bathroom. He destroyed the door, but he got out of the bathroom, so lucky for him. Now, let's go back and talk about the first one, this destructive, this, uh, destructive behavior of digging. Now, why would a dog try and dig himself out of a yard? A lot of reasons. Sometimes dogs will dig to get out of the yard because they're trying to escape from their pack because they think their pack does not have a strong leader and they're trying to get to one that does. Dogs dig for a lot of reasons. They dig because they hear things in the soil, water, insects, that kind of thing. Sometimes dogs dig for nutrients because their diet is not sufficient and they're trying to get nutrients out of the soil. You need to catch the dog in the act of digging and then we show you how to stop it. And we want you to catch your dog in the act, put it on video, catch it on your camera, and send it to us because you heard him say it. You've said it four times now this morning. There's no such thing as a dog or an owner that is untrainable. So go to our website, coin. Maybe owner. Owner, I know. I'm a bad dog owner. It's okay. <laughs> go to our website, coin.com, and click on the link that says Wanted Portland's Naughtiest Dog. You only have two days left to enter the contest, and we have a lot of entries. You've seen some of them this morning. We have so many, but we want to see more. I know that you are sitting at home right now with your naughty dog, and you're thinking, I can top that, and we want to yes. see all of it. <laughs> Casey, I don't think you're a bad dog owner because you had Bella in the newsroom this morning. She was and fine. She was, when you called her, she would come to you. I mean, I, my dog doesn't yeah. do that. Well, you know, she was on good behavior for all of you guys. Oh. She is really bad, though. I guess my expectations are low. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Casey.